Hello everyone, I am Roxy and I am glad to meet you again. Today I will show you how to make this very beautiful jacket with pocket. Uh, it's perfect for the spring uh, and this jacket can be adapted to any size, so it doesn't matter your what size you have, you can adapt it for you. Um, you can make it in one color, in two colors, as I make, in three colors, sorry, because we use a color for the base and for the edge, and two colors for the slip stitch, okay? Or you can use uh, one color for the base and for the edge and for the slip stitch you can also use variegated yarn and look how it is also with variegated yarn but it's your choice uh, what combination you want to use but my advice is to use a very very soft yarn okay the crochet that i use is two millimeters for the first row 2.5 millimeters for the base for the front edge bottom edge and the pocket edge and for the slip stitch i use 3.5 okay now the yarn for the base I use Alize cotton gold and if you want to use the same yarn the code is 01 for this green color and uh, uh, very fluffy and very very soft yarn is Naco Paris Bebe. Look how beautiful it is. And if you want to use the same yarn, the code is 21317. Okay? And for the yellow, I have some mohair yarn. Okay? Uh, if you like my work, please subscribe to my channel and let's begin. As you can see, uh, I already finished the back. Uh, why I make already the back? Because I had to know uh, what was going on during the work, okay? Um, it's very important to see what is happen with your work. But uh, before I will give you some information, <clears throat> you need to make a test with the yarn that you want to use and also with the crochet that you want to use. For example, in my case, with the yarn that I use, the first row is made with the crochet number two, okay? And then <coughs> uh, I continue with the crochet number 2.5. And this is outside and this is inside, okay? So first we use the first color. And for this test, you need to chain uh, 30. So it doesn't matter uh, what size you have. After you make this test, uh, you chain the number 
who is multiple with two. Okay? So don't matter what size you have. But for the test, you chain 30. Skip one stitch and into the next make single crochet. And you make single crochet in every stitch until you finish the row. And this first row is made with the crochet number two. Okay, so continue until you finish and then I will show you how to make the next row. I finished the first row with single crochet in every stitch and now you change the crochet number and I use 2.5 and chain 3 1 2 and 3 and turn your work yarn over and hit is one stitch skip one stitch into the next make one double crochet the chain two is for uh, one double crochet and one chain one stitch is for the chain one space okay so two is for double crochet one is for one space chain one skip one and into the next make double crochet chain one skip one into the next <coughs> double crochet one more time chain one skip one into the next make double crochet Okay, continue until you finish the row and then I will show you how to continue. I almost finished the row and I have other end one and two. Chain one and into the last stitch make double crochet. Chain three, one, two and three. Turn your work and now you continue to make as I show you chain one and one double crochet chain one and one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one It's work very fast because it's not hard. Look, I will <coughs> I will work until I almost finish this row. One moment, please. Just some stitch. <coughs> So at the end of the row, chain one and you insert the crochet into the chain two, okay? And now you chain three again, one, two and three and continue. You uh, need to make for this test um <coughs> 15 rows after you make the 15 rows and also i will make 50 rows i will show you how to continue after you finish these 15 rows 
cut the yarn and make a slip knot and look uh, why it is important to make this test for example in my case uh, the back side uh, I will I will need uh, 45 but after I finish I have 48 but it's okay and look for this uh, <coughs> 30 stitch I have 10 centimeter but look I have uh, 14 groups. 14 groups multiplied of two with two is 28 plus one stitch 29. And also plus one skip and stitch when we make the first row is uh, 30 chain. But here at the end you will have 29. Okay, so look. Here I have 40 groups. Here it is 40 groups. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Until here. Okay, so it is very important to make this test. And now, you need to make <coughs> one moment. Here, at the top, and into the left we make single crochet all around this single crochet is make also at the back side at the front side and also at the slave so it's make exactly the same and we make only single crochet okay take the end make a slip knot Okay, and insert the crochet here into the first row, not here where you chain, into the first row. Chain one and make one single crochet. And from now on, for every row, you make two single crochet. One, two. One, two. One, two. One more time. One, Okay, continue until you reach here at the top and then I will show you how to continue. So here it is, the last row. I make two, one and two. And now, here at the last row you make one single crochet into the skip and chain, one single crochet into the double crochet, one into the chain one space, one into the double crochet, one into the chain one space, one into the double crochet. See? Continue until you reach here 
at the next corner and then I will show you how to continue. I almost finish here at the top and into the last chain one space make one single crochet and then the last single crochet at the top part is make here into the last double crochet and now you continue to make two single crochet for every row one and one moment and two Into the next row again, two single crochet. Okay, one and two. And now you continue until you finish here into the first uh, row with a uh, double crochet and chain one space, make two, and into the last row here make only one single crochet and then I will show you how to make uh, this slip stitch with two colors okay I finish to make single crochet all around except the bottom and uh, why we need to make single crochet because uh, when we join the back side and the front side here at the top will be more easy and also after we join the slave and the cardigan and at the uh, jacket sorry and also after we join the back side and the front side and we close the sleeve it is more easy to join okay and now I will show you how to make this slip stitch with two colors but for example uh, you can make with two colors I have this fancy yarn is uh, for baby it's very very soft and also it, this is a mohairia yeah. uh, if you uh, this is for two colors but you can use only uh, one type of yarn but must be variegated yarn but I will show you how to make with all colors okay first you begin with the color that you want and make a slip knot and it is very important look for the first row we use crochet number two for the rest of the back side we use 2.5 for the slip stitch always use 3.5 millimeters okay and make a slip knot insert the crochet here into the first chain one space and pull the loops and then insert the crochet into the next chain one space and pull the yarn okay make a large loops it's very important to make large loops okay and 
one moment until I reach here. It's work a little hard only at the beginning and then it is very easy. Okay, make a large slip stitch and when you reach here at the last three one space make a large loops and then insert the crochet into the same uh, chain one space and pull the loops from inside and then insert the crochet uh, from outside take the loops and pull easily then turn and <coughs> continue to make slip stitch okay so make large slip stitch one moment until I finish and then I will show you one more time how to finish and how to begin the next okay so large loops insert the crochet into the same chain one base pull the loops from inside then insert the crochet from outside pull the loops and again continue Uh, I will make until here with this green color and then I will show you how to make with the second color okay I finished this with uh, the first color and I'm sorry I forgot when you finish the first row I will name this first row when you pull the loops you need to skip one chain one space because between here we make with the second color okay and now how to finish with one color cut the end and now insert a crochet into the same same chain one space pull the loops from inside then make a slip knot and pull and that's it okay so always when you make the back side the front side and the front side you make first with the first color and then with the second if you want to make with variegal that yard you continue to make uh, at this moment i don't know how uh, i need to make this slip stitch for the slave because i don't make the slave but uh, after I make the slave, one slave, I will show you how to make it. But this is only for the back side and the front side. And now we begin 
with the second color. You also make a slip knot with a little large loops and insert the crochet here between these two rows with slip stitch and you continue to make slip stitch It's very easy also. One moment until I finish. And also make a large loop, insert the crochet into the same chain one space, pull the loops from inside, then skip here and insert the crochet from outside and pull the loops. Turn and continue. So this is for the back side and also for the front side. Okay? I continue until here and then I will show you how to make with varia garden. Yeah. Look, I make with these two colors. Look how beautiful it is. But I will show you also if you want to make with variegated yarn. This is the simple yarn and also is the same yarn that I use for the base of this jacket. You make exactly the same with a large loops. The only difference is when you finish one row here up, you don't need, need to skip one chain one space. But one moment. until I finish this row because this is one row. Okay. A large loops, insert the crochet into the same chain one space, pull the loops from the inside and then insert the crochet from outside, pull the loops into the next chain one space from outside and continue to make back loops slip stitch. I like it more with two colors because this is a little thin. Look the difference. I, okay. So use a fancy yarn or a 
Mohairian it's more beautiful but if you want to use variegated yarn it's your choice you can do it okay one moment to finish and look it is beautiful also like that but it's your choice uh, what colors you want to use now after you finish to make slip stitch in all J1 space is very important so after you finish you can measure without uh, here where you make single crochet all around so here it is the last stitch from here to here look for example i have almost 11 centimeter for 20 nine stitch okay and after uh, you finish this part and you will know how uh, many uh, centimeter or inch you have for the 29 uh, chain you need to measure all around the body where the hips are bigger in my case my model has uh, 19 centimeter all around and the number that you obtain you must divide by two and the result is the number of centimeter or inch that you have for the back side okay so measure all around the body where the hips are bigger and divide by two the result is the number of centimeter or inch that you need for the back side and also at this moment you will know how many chain you need for example in my case i chain uh, <coughs> one moment i chain 100 and 30 stitch even if I want to obtain around 46 47 I have to the left to the right I have 48 but it's okay if it is a little large okay so now you can make the back side make exactly as i showed first make the base and then make uh, all around except the bottom single crochet and then make the slip stitch as i show you after you finish the back side i will show you how to calculate for the front side I uh, also finish this little test and I think it looks beautiful also with the barrier guard that yeah but I like it more like that okay and now for the front side first you count the number of stitch that you have here with single crochet at the top okay and then uh, measure for the s size and m size measure 10 centimeter for the l 11 
for x cell 12 for x 6 6 cell l 13 okay and after you measure also count the stitch and then like that the number of stitch that you have here at the bottom at the top sorry minus the number of stitch that you uh, count after you measure and the result you must divide by two and you need to have a number who can who can be divided by two because you need to have the same number of stitch here and also the same number of stitch here and for the front side you also uh, need to chain a number who can be divided by two in my case I count and I have 51 until here plus one I will change 52 because uh, this uh, one chain in plus is for skip and chain at the beginning of the row okay so you need to have also one more time the same number of stitch into the left the same number of stitch into the right and this is the space for the uh, back at the neck okay and after you finish to measure put a slip stitch and you make two front sides exactly as I show you for the back side make the first row with single crochet then continue the base with the first color and then make the slip stitch uh, with two colors and one color one color is your choice how uh, many colors you want to use I will make the two from side one and two and then I will show you how to join the front side at the back side I finish this two front side and also I join one front side at the back side uh, the type of join is back loops slip stitch okay with this type of join uh, you also will join the slave and the jacket and also we close the jacket and also the slave so you use the same type of join and insert the crochet into the uh, first single crochet here at the back side and then at the first single crochet at the front side and all the yard. make a knot two knots one and two and now we join with back loop slip stitch Okay, so insert the crochet into the next single crochet at the front side and also into the next single crochet at the back side and join them 
with slip stitch. Insert the crochet into the next back loops slip stitch at the front side, then into the next back loops at the front side and join with slip stitch. Back loops at the front side, back loops at the back side and join with slip stitch. One more time. Back loops at the front side at the next single crochet, then back loops at the next single crochet at the back side and join them with slip stitch okay continue until you finish until add a stitch marker cut and hide there and when you make you join the second front side you begin at the next stitch marker until you finish i will finish to join this from a uh, second front side and then i will show you how to make the front edge okay now it's time to make the front edge but first here it is the outside outside we turn this jacket with the inside up. Okay, so with the inside up, and we begin from here and we finish here. Make a slip knot and insert the crochet into the first stitch. And chain two, one and two. Into the same stitch, make double crochet. The chain two don't count as one double crochet, okay? So the chain two don't count. And make in every stitch double crochet all around. Okay? So double crochet in every stitch and after you finish I will show you how to make the next row. I finished the first row at this edge and now after you finish chain two, one, two and start your work. From now on, uh, we make one row with from post triple crochet and one double crochet and one row with back post tri triple crochet and double crochet. But at this row we make from post triple crochet and double crochet. Into the next stitch we make from post triple. Uh, and I make from post triple like that yarn over only one time and we have one two and three loops take one loops then two then two and this is the triple into the next make double crochet into the next from post triple crochet one two and three 
into the next double crochet one more time from post triple one two and three and into the next double crochet okay continue to work all around and then after I finish this row I will show you how to make the next row I finished the first row the, sec uh, the second row at the front edge and now it's time to make the next row chain two one two turn your work and at this row we make back post triple crochet and one double crochet back post triple crochet into the next double crochet into the next back post triple crochet one two and three into the next double crochet one more time back post triple crochet one two and three into the next double crochet and look here it is uh for, for inside and here it is the outside okay and now you continue to make so many rows you need in my case i need to have at least five centimeter and at this moment i don't know how many rows i need and after I finish the front edge, I will try to make a pocket and if I like it, I will show you. If I don't, I continue to make one slave and then I will show you how to make it. But first, I will try to make uh, one pocket, okay? I make one pocket. As you can see it's very nice and I think it's match perfect with the jacket for the pocket you put your hand over one front side in my case I don't want to have a big pocket and I measure like that I put my hand over the front side like that and then I put a stitch marker and also I put a stitch marker here because from here until here will be the pocket but if you want uh, a bigger pocket pocket you can put your hand like that or like that but I think it is too much and after your you put a stitch marker uh, you count the stitch that you need to chain and in my case uh, I need 34 stitch but at the pocket look we don't make the first row with single crochet okay so you chain a number that you need who is multiple with two plus one so in my case i need 34 and i chain 30 
5 and after you change the number that you need you count 1 2 3 4 stitch into the stitch number 5 insert the crochet and make one single crochet chain one then skip one stitch into the next make double crochet chain one one moment skip one into the next make one double crochet Okay, continue until you finish and then I will show you how to continue. I finish this row and now you continue to work as I show you for the base at this jacket. Chain 3, 1, 2 and 3, turn your work and continue to make as I show you. Chain one, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, okay, and continue uh, until you almost obtain the number of rows, but it's more easy like that. Count the number of rows. In my case, uh, it's 19 rows. This, and I make 19 rows minus 4. And I, may, I will make 15 rows for the base. Because then we make one row with double crochet and then three rows with this edge that we make at the front side okay so number of rows that you have minus four i will make 15 rows and then i will show you how to continue i finish this 15 rows and now the next row is made like that chain two one two and we make double crochet in every stitch into the chain one space make one double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next chain one space one double crochet one double crochet into the next stitch okay and continue until you finish the row and then I will show you how to continue. Okay? Okay. Now we make the next row. Chain two, one, two, turn your work. And into the next stitch we make from post triple crochet. Exactly as I show you at the front edge into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch from post triple crochet two and three one more one two and three okay uh, finish this row after you finish the next row you make uh, back post triple crochet and double crochet and then you turn your work again and make again one row with front post triple and double crochet okay so in total you have four rows after you finish join uh, make a slip knot cut and hide the yarn and now, um, for the slip stitch, look, my 
first pocket I begin with the green color and I finish with the yellow okay at this pocket and at this pocket I also look where it is the stitch marker for the first row here so at the second pocket I need to begin with yellow and I will finish with green okay but uh, if your first pocket begin with one color and is finished with the same color for example if you make exactly with the same color that I make if your pocket has first color with green and last row also with green you work exactly the same the second pocket but if you don't have uh, exactly the same row with the same color the first and the last make first pocket and then you sew and after you make the base the first row where you begin is with the color number two okay so finish the pocket and then i will show you how to make the sleeve i finish the pocket and look how beautiful it is and also i make the sleeve and i join the sleeve at the jacket and also I join the front side and the back side and look how beautiful it is and now for the slave for the slave you need to measure here all around where is finish your arm and begin your hand so all around and you need to chain so many uh, stitch you need until your hand enter easily okay but uh, not too large okay after you change the number that you need uh, the number will be a number who is multiple with two exactly as you make at the back side and at the front side and make seven rows one row with single crochet as i show you and then six rows one two three four five six work normally one double crochet chain one one double crochet uh, this is for an adult if you make for a uh, this jacket for a little girl you can make five rows one with single crochet and four one two three four okay and after you make these rows it's time to begin to increase the increase is very easy to make and now you chain to one to turn your work and into the same stitch here make one double crochet then chain one and continue to work normally until you finish almost finish the row one 
moment. Look. So here it is the increase. And work until you almost finish the row. And then I will show you uh, how to increase again because the increase is make always at the beginning and at the end of the row. I almost finished the row. And chain one and into the chain two you make two double crochet. One and two. Okay? So this is the increase at the end of the row and here is the increase at the beginning. Now chain two, one, two and work exactly as the stitch are. After you uh, make the first increase, you make two rows work normally. Okay? So, this time you will have at the beginning and at the end of the row, you will have two double crochet. Okay? So, make two rows and then I will show you again how to increase because, the, because this time we increase a little different. I finish these two rows work normally and look how it is. Here we make the increase and then two rows work normally and now we increase again this time you chain three one two and three two chain is for one double crochet and one chain for the chain one space and into the next double crochet make double crochet and continue to work normally. One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, until you almost finish the row. Okay? I work until I almost finish the row and then I will show you one more time how to increase. I almost finish the row and look here it is a normal double crochet and chain one and insert the crochet here in this double crochet this is normal and now chain one and into the chain two here insert the crochet and make double crochet and we increase again now chain three one two and three and make again two rows work normally without any increase so one row increase two rows work normally Okay, and look, <clears throat> I make more rows. And <clears throat> look how it is. Here I increase. Then I make two rows work normally. Here it is the increase. Then two rows work normally. Then I increase again, then two rows work normally, okay? 
So continue until you obtain your length that you need and then make single crochet all around without the bottom. So make here, here and here as I show you and as you make at the back side and at the front side. And now when you begin to make the slip stitch. One moment. Look, this is my slave. You begin from here and you work until you reach at the end and then you continue to make slip stitch here into the right to finish this part okay so skip one group if you make with two colors and continue until you have uh, this chain two chain one space then cut a yarn and continue until you finish this part then you start again at the bottom and continue to work until you finish with one color and then begin with the second color and look here it is for me the first row and look how it is okay so finish the slip uh, make the slip stitch as I show you and then I will show you how uh, to calculate and how to join the sleigh at the jacket. I finish the second sleigh and look how beautiful it is. And now it's time to join the sleigh at the jacket. And uh, don't matter how big it is here at the top your sleeve the number of stitch of single crochet that you make here will be a number who can't be divided by two okay so for example in my case i have uh, 93 stitch this number can't be divided by two and make the number that you have minus one the result will be a number who can be divided by two and the result then divide by two and you also we have the result a number who can be divided by two and make like that count the stitch to the right that you obtain after you divide by two in my case is 46 so i count 46 into the next stitch i put a stitch marker this uh, stitch is one stitch that we make minus one here okay and then count again and you need to have exactly the same number here and here other slave and then at the jacket put a stitch marker exactly where you join the front side at the back side okay and then count again 
the same number that you obtain after you divide by 2. In my case, 46. So I count 46 to here until here. I have 46. Into the next, put a stitch marker. And then, also count your number that you obtain after you divide by 2. And then, into the next, put a stitch marker. And that's it for the, for the sleeve. And then, take your yard and join with back loop slip stitch as I show you uh, when I join the front side at the back side. It's the same type of join. And after you join the sleeve at the jacket, you need to close the jacket. And you begin from here. at the bottom until you uh, reach here where will be the slave and then continue to close the slave okay until you finish here at the beginning of the slave and don't cut the yarn because after uh, I also finish to join uh, the slave at the cardigan and also after I close the cardigan I will show you how to make this little edge with picot stitch and, and I think it's match perfect Okay? I finished to join the sleeve at the jacket and also I joined the front side at the back side and I close the sleeve. And now uh, at the end we make a little edge with picot stitch. Chain one and into the same stitch make one single crochet and make again two in total three single crochet so one two and three chain three one two and three into the last single crochet here insert the crochet and make one single crochet skip one stitch into the next single crochet into the next single crochet into the next stitch single crochet in total three chain three again one two and three into the last single crochet insert the crochet and make a single crochet one more time skip one stitch into the next single crochet into the next single crochet into the next stitch single crochet chain three one two and three insert the crochet into the uh, third Oh, sorry single crochet and make one single crochet skip one again and continue until you finish when you finish join with slip stitch here into the first single crochet make a slip knot cut and hide the yarn uh, I will finish this um, little edge at the slave and then I will give you some information for the bottom edge 
for the bottom edge you have two possibility you can make the same edge with picot stitch that you make at the sleeve or you can make the same stitch that you make into the front and at the pocket uh, in my case i think i will make this edge with front post triple crochet and back post triple crochet and double crochet okay but if you uh, want to make the picot stitch you begin <coughs> from here and you continue and you work from outside but here where it is the edge for every row you need to make two stitch one stitch you have here one row here you make two stitch two stitch so two stitch for every row okay if you uh, want to make the same edge you begin as I show you when I make the front edge you begin from inside and also for every row you make uh, two double crochet for every row because first row will be with double crochet after you turn your work you make uh, one front post triple one double crochet and after you turn again you make one back post triple a crochet one double crochet okay so for the edge is your choice uh, what type of edge you want okay I hope you like it my new creation please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and bye bye